Phil's dog was uh, wandering around here and he must have thought that was his radiator and marked his territory, so. Right now he tasted it. Yeah, I didn't quite know what fluid was, but <laughs> thankfully I didn't taste it. I wouldn't get that taste out of my mouth for days. Oh, <laughs> Well, good morning everybody and welcome to this extremely windy day. It's, um, yeah, just absolutely crazy. It's the 4th of October today, so we're maybe two weeks from harvest. Just currently sorting out the final details of the headers, basically things that aren't necessary to harvest grain, but just trying to improve a few things. Um, and we're gonna fit the Challenger motor. Uh, we'll start fitting it this video, hopefully. So that's good. We're making progress. Not not ideal to have a motor for your main chaser bin tractor rock up two weeks before harvest but we'll take what we can get so i'm probably unfortunately just because of the wind today anyway it should die down a little bit i cannot really film much um, but i might do a few time lapses a little bit here and there but i'm actually just at the back of the shed because if i step out here it is just not good at all it's actually died down a bit. It's been gusting very, very strong. So um, that is what's happening there. So apologies for the wind noise, all of that, if I do take a bit of footage, but that's just how it is. So I've also got Phil's little doggy here. This is Clyde. So he's, uh, yeah, he's running a bit of a muck up here at the minute. So let's uh, come through. So currently a bit that's happening is we've got all the sieves out of header number two. There's just a bit too much slop in some of the sieve mechanisms. They, they do it, they're bad for it, but um, wasn't gonna stop us harvesting or whatever, but just while we've got a moment, we're gonna pull them out and tidy them all up. Um, just makes it more accurate and save potentially throwing a bit of grain out when you think your sieves are set at something, they might be set at something else. So um, yeah, that's that's what we got there. And we've got the, fan, the Phantom motor over here. So, it's um, Brad's just putting a few of the accessories on the alternator, pulleys, all that sort of thing, tensioners. So that's um, getting ready to go back in. So yeah, hopefully the wind dies down soon. Um, Is this what you do to get out of the wind, Phil? You telling stories, kid? <laughs> the story time with Matt? Yeah, well it should be. Oh, right. Or Matt's ramblings. Yeah, this is very comfy down here. Mate, yeah, it looks it. we've made some decent progress it's just quite challenging I think this was it was in March wasn't it uh, yeah anyway so it's been quite a while but um, yeah we've got the starter system done alternator we've got a couple of these hoses Brad's just ferreting away trying to get this one on we'll watch yeah, you good good times so yes it is gonna be quite a challenge because uh, as we said before Johnny's not here he did a good chunk of it we all did bits and pieces of it but um yeah he won't be around for another couple of weeks so we have to figure it out ourselves which is always can't be as hard as a john deere grader surely yeah well, that's true well we should should be getting good at this sort of thing shouldn't we should be um so anyway we're we're just poking along I need a rubber hammer mate rubber hammer blue rubber hammer all right oh getting bossed around Anyway guys, uh, we're just about, pretty well packing up, ready to head off. 
um, for the day and we'll be back tomorrow. Morning everybody. We had uh, yeah had a storm last night and well actually it was a couple of storms but I think we ended up with about 10 mil maybe a little bit more than 10 mil of rain so yeah very refreshing um, but as you can see we're here at the wheat and it is coming in pretty quick so yeah we've only got a uh, maybe 10 days two weeks before that could be ready so all fun and games got to get this tractor going well we've still got a few people ferreting around here JD's up there what are you doing last guard putting guards on mm -hmm. nice so getting ready for yeah doing a final check over on this one Phil's put a seal kit in the spreader motor I've moved from the guts of the header to the outside of the header well, that's a start isn't it yeah. that's, that's nice today today to be working on machinery yes <laughs> that was crazy so yes it's, a, it's probably dropped about can't help himself. It's probably dropped about uh, 10 degrees or something today, <laughs> it feels like, and virtually no wind. So it is great. You right there, Brad? Yeah, I'm having fun. Having fun? So, I didn't mention yesterday, but we somehow in transport or somewhere along the lines are missing a couple of engine mounts and a couple of engine washers. So it looks like Brad's just made up, up, making up some washers, the big fat washers. But yeah, I believe we're not far off from trying to put the radiator in. So let's hope we don't damage or wreck any of that sort of thing. That's not cheap. Right, we've had a, a few little issues, haven't we, Brad? Yeah. We, um, the brackets that got made up for the new radiator, which should match the old brackets over there which from the old radiator um, yeah got new ones made up but there was a couple of things missing and we just found that the where are we these um, studs here or bolts that are welded into the frame they were just out by about 15 mils so we've had to just take all them off and redo that but anyway I think we're we're on the final stretch now it should all fit um, we did think we had some sort of a major issue here yeah, I thought we had a radiator leak, uh, coolant re leaking out of the radiator and uh, was quite concerning. And then we twigged that, that Phil's dog was uh, wandering around here and he must have thought that was his radiator and marked his territory. So Matt nearly tasted it. Yeah, I didn't quite know what fluid was, but <laughs> thankfully I didn't taste it. <laughs> I wouldn't get that taste out of my mouth for days. Oh, <laughs> Once the radiator's in here, um, then we can put the cooler cooler pack there and hook up all those hoses down here and get all that sort of sorted out condenser can go on and um, yeah then we're sort of sort of be in good stead then I think so we're just getting there that's the best way to describe it isn't it progress progressing slowly but progressing so nonetheless do our modifications yeah Brad's favorite word mm -hmm. is it that was great Brad really <laughs> went I did that just for the camera. Yeah, good job. We'll have to check there's no rocks in that now.
update time and uh, yeah it's looking like a tractor again so it's what it's about four o'clock in the afternoon so not too far left in the day but uh, yeah we're just basically got the bones of everything done um, we've just got to wait on a couple of um, small coolant hoses that go up the top there they were just a bit brittle so um, dad's coming home from town with um, yeah a bit of hose so that shouldn't take too long then we've got um, yeah just to fit the batteries which has fallen to me to yeah do the batteries and all this electrical mess in here so uh, yeah I'm gonna do that and then yeah I think after these coolant hoses come in it'd be ready to fire up um, we don't have the exhaust yet but we could fire it up without that um, the yeah we just still got to patch up that but yeah as long as we know if we find out whether it's all good to go and it runs and everything's nice then um, yeah then the pressure's off so we can move on to some other things while I think dad was fiddling, fiddling around with just getting this exhaust um, the original one just patched up to keep us going until we can um, organize something else but yeah it's uh, it is a bit of a relief it's very nice to see the engine in there and it looked like a tractor again so well uh, yeah we'll keep plodding along well I do have to come back to this there's more wiring we need to do um, there's a harness there that we flogged from this tractor to put on the Stygo for sewing um, so yeah I've got to still muck around there but I've got that done enough at least for the minute we've got got the phantom returns there's a few people been asking where you are again better take my glasses off so I look a bit younger oh, you just... mid mold. so is that GoPro I, I got you got cobwebs on it yet yeah I'm working myself up to it yeah just I've, not, I've had some weird ideas lately and I'm just not I'm not um, too proud to sort of let them <laughs> wait till you they saw, develop a bit and then you see saw one or two of them the other day didn't you which one was that trying to remember what the last one was they're quite frequent right well, we've got coolant in it and i think we might there's no um, exhaust still but don't need that um i'll give this a few pumps oh. then we might kick it in the gut see if it works it's a bit scary what else do we want to check brad not hitting belts are on Exciting. What's that? That was only what in in a day and a bit. We really only yeah. started yesterday it afternoon, how, wasn't it? How much productivity you put on yourself? Well, yeah. Let's not do that, shall we? That's, that's a bit cruel, Brad. <laughs> we just leave that oh, one alone. I didn't say how much. I just asked the so, question. So here's the thing. Everyone thinks that Matt's lazy and that he's not doing anything, but they don't realise that he's got to look lazy to have the camera in his hand. That's right. That's yes. how you get the good shots, everyone. Yeah, I got. A, I'm, I'm juggling. Not only am I working full time, I'm a full time cameraman and editor. Yeah, now that's not is, lazy. This, no. is the, this is the interesting thing. I don't mind people mucking me around. Mucking we, around. We see whether this gets cut out of the editorial, that's right. or whether he allows it to go in. Yeah. Well, actually, that's probably laziness. I do leave a fair bit of rubbish in there <laughs> these days. <laughs> yeah, I got a sense of Brad still. Someone has to. Um, well, that's a bit exciting. We can sleep well tonight, eh? Yeah. So, um, we'll go through and check everything in the morning. Yep. So we had a little bit of a coolant up. coolant leak there um, from that hose clamp there. But other than that... And I just got a... I was patching up the muffler. Bit of a sad state of affairs, the old muffler. So 
I got a just. We had high hopes of all stainless, but <laughs> it just failed. Yes, so aspirations were high. Well, that's bonnet. Yeah, no. The yeah, no, no bonnet yet. That's that's usually the last thing. That's job. So that is very good. There's a few guards that need to go underneath. Um, yeah. And I think it takes what another six liters of coolant. So yeah, something like that. Fifteen percent more capacity as far as water so i'm interested to see where that equates to actual better cooling <laughs> i tell you actually this sums up brad perfectly right not once have we struggled with this tractor with overheating other than when the radiator is blocked but brad just wants to get that extra 15 percent extra extra performance i'll go for 50 but <laughs> that's why nothing lasts long with you of yours eh? they tried to uh, wind it up for us but she was maxed out, they eh? They said every time they tried to wind it up in the computer and they stopped it, it reset again. Apparently you need to send a code off to, or get a code from Mr. Cat in America. They just ruin all the fun. They just take all the fun out of Probably it. Probably rightly so. <laughs> Caterpillar, I'm talking we to don't, you. We, we don't want to do the same thing as the 280. <laughs> I don't know, the YouTube channel wasn't a thing no, no. when that happened, was it? No. We wound up the 280 versatile to about 320. And uh, I yeah, that. yeah, I think. Well, no, we thought it was 320. Turned out it was probably 350 or something, and uh, we snapped a shaft in the transmission. So, yeah, we had, we had, um, yeah, we do have some footage, and yeah, no, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't great. But anyway, it was, it was, until it went snap. <laughs> anyway, so that's a that's a cautionary tale. <laughs> The first time we've actually detuned something. Yeah, yeah. So after we put the new shaft, well, actually, we used the shaft from the burnt tractor, saved ourselves ten grand. Mm. But um, yeah, we uh, straight away detuned that back to factory. Nah, it's still a bit more. You reckon? Yeah, it's not factory, but it's just a little. Bit. <laughs> you still couldn't help yourself. Just a little bit. <laughs> I thought it was factory. It's probably three twenty. Brad would have told everyone it's back to factory, yeah, that's right. but he's <laughs> story told me. Brad. <laughs> well. That is exciting. I think they just make sure we haven't left any tools out and then we'll head home for the day. Well, that's probably enough excitement for uh, this video. I might have to tune in for the next video. Um, and we'll just finish the, putting a bonnet on and all of that, double checking a few things. But um, yeah, looks like we're in reasonably good shape as far as this should only be a day or so to just tidy up, get completely finished and done. The headers, that one's just got uh, a few odds and ends. The other one should be done. Um, then we've got chaser bins, mother bins to all go through in the trucks and things like that. But um, we kind of know what's ahead of us with them. So, yeah, we've got another couple of weeks to get through all of that. Um, but, yeah, we'll probably leave the video there for the minute, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, just remember to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you in the next one.